So currently, um, for an individual with a new diagnosis of advanced KRAS mutant non-small cell lung cancer, we would recommend individuals start with immunotherapy-based treatments since um, there is um, benefit in KRAS mutant lung cancer. I think um, in the near future, we'll have to figure out how to integrate these KRAS inhibitors. When should we do it up front? When should we do it later? And I think right now we're just at the beginning of trying to figure out um, what sorts of individuals, potentially individuals who have both KRAS and STK11 um, might benefit from these drugs earlier. And so we're trying to do a lot of research in the field to, to tease apart those challenging questions.